Hey everybody, it's Jay at Lock and Lube, and today I'm back in our warehouse to show you how to get your X2 grease pump set up, primed, and working. In order to do that, we're gonna showcase a lot of different Lock and Lube and Lock and Flate products. The X2 grease pump. The trolley that sits underneath the bucket, this is Texas Refinery Crown and Chassis Grease. We've also got our G-Scoop, our premium air hose, our Lock and Flate Pro air hose reel. That's the core of it. Now the first step's gonna be opening up the bucket of grease. I love this grease. You guys gotta see this. Gold flakes, looks great, full to the top. These TRC buckets come with six gallons of grease as compared to the standard five. It's not much grease, but I don't wanna waste it. So we'll use the G-Scoop to get this moved into the bucket. Anytime you're interacting or dealing with the grease that you're gonna put through your pump, you wanna be extra sure that you're not adding any contaminants to it. Now it's time to put the follower in place. Again, I'm a broken record, but keep your grease clean. I'm not gonna set this on the floor. I'm gonna rest it back in the bucket while I'm working on the follower. The rubber lip here is made to move with the bucket as the bucket tapers. So over time, this will bend up. It's supposed to do that, that's by design. Now what you're gonna do, you're pushing down until you've got all the air out, or at least most of the air, so that that follower is sitting flat on top of the grease inside the bucket. Push that down just until we get grease Right up to the top, there is an O-ring in this central opening here that's gonna create a seal with the pump unit. As, as you pump grease, this suction will pull the follower down and it should scrape the bucket clean and self-center so that you're getting as much grease down into the pump as possible. Next step is installing the X2 pump. What we're gonna do is just set that right in the middle there and let it slide down. Make sure that we're getting this seated correctly top of the bucket, there we go. And then I'll tighten the three screws up to hold this in place. Especially if you're gonna be using the handles on the X2 to move this around, you wanna be sure those are nice and snug so that you don't go to lift up the pump and separate it from the bucket of grease. The trolley that sits underneath the bucket, this is optional of course, but can be really nice to have. This comes with four wing nut screws that you can use to secure the bottom of the bucket into the trolley. We'll do that later. All right, so now we're gonna get our compressor connected into the X2 grease pump. So we're gonna use our premium air hose to connect the compressor into the hose reel. We've got these in two lengths. We've got a 25 and a 50 foot option if you're just buying the hose. And again, these are also our larger high flow option. So these are gonna be 3 8 inch connectors with a half inch hose. So now the first connection to the hose reel is gonna be a 3 8 inch connection right in the center of the hose reel here. So we're just gonna thread this in directly to the reel. The wrench flats here uh, fit a metric 18. Now on the other end, just gonna install a standard quick connect. Now on the side of the pump head, there's a plastic cap covering this opening. That's your air input. This is a quarter inch opening. So we are gonna have to use a reducer uh, off the hose reel to the X2. The pump head here is built for low air consumption so that you don't need a super high powered compressor or a high flow hose. So in this case, we're just gonna adapt the size down with a 3 8 to quarter inch reducer. Now the brass connector on the X2 pump head does swivel. So when I go to install this, I'll be rotating this side. Now we've got our air hose connected in to the X2. Last step's gonna be to connect it to the compressor and we'll be ready to get this thing primed and working. It will cycle a couple times to get the whole unit up to pressure. Don't be surprised, that's normal operating. Once it's up to pressure, it'll stop and you'll be ready to go. We are operating at about 120 PSI. The system can go up to 150, which is where you'll get your max pressure of 7,500 PSI at the head. That's your 50 to one ratio. There we go. I can just hold the trigger down on this booster gun for continuous flow. This grease gun's gonna deliver 16 ounces of grease in a minute. So in one minute, you're gonna get a full pound of grease that's more than a tube. For the booster feature, if you get on a clogged fitting, you just continually tap this, this handle here and it'll actually boost the pressure, again, up to 10,000 PSI. All right. Probably the best greased forklift in the industry right here. There we go. And you can see how quickly that grease comes out there. The volume of delivery is amazing. So you really don't need to grease for very long on these fittings. Single pump will deliver quite a lot of grease. 
Thanks for joining us as we set up and use our X2 grease pump. We're really excited to introduce this product along with the X4 and X6 for larger bulk grease containers. Now, if you're looking for a more modular setup, the booster gun with the Z-Swivel and the lock and loop coupler is sold separately as its own unit, as are all of the lock and inflate products we mentioned here. For more information about the X2 grease pump, the lock and inflate premium hose reels, our pro hose reels, our lock and lube grease reels, all the great products we have available. Check out lockandlube.com or search for us on YouTube.